Hi guys, welcome once again to another Fish and Chippies fishing adventure. Today I've come down to uh, the Sawland uh, on the south coast, a um, place called Hillhead. I'm going to target the smooth hounds today. Um, it's, it's been quite a blustery day today. I was going to give Chisel another go, but I think with the waves and everything down there, I don't think it would have been particularly good fishing there today, um, or comfortable fishing should I say. But yeah, I'm down here today got the Isle of Wight right over there, directly over there. I'm just going to be fishing one rod today with the peeler crab um, and see if I can get into some smooth hands. This is one of the closest venues for me. Um, living in Reading, it takes me about an hour and a quarter, something like that, to get down here. So I went to a local tackle shop here in Fairham, a place called Rover's Tackle. I'm going to give them a plug because they give me a free chopping board and they, they they had a good chat with me and said look if you're ever down here again you know come in the shop have a chat with us and everything else and it's good really good guys good information and um yeah but this is a stunning place i'm, I'm literally parked here it's comfortable fishing i'm on hard ground we've got the, the sea uh, wall there and the tide's just coming in so i think high tide's about 10 o'clock tonight so we're just going to uh Get, get a bait in the water. I've, I've already baited up, got some nice um, pale I'll just show you quickly on the camera. So I've just baited up a nice pale crab there on a panel with a knotless knot again, look, <laughs> which I'm really enjoying. Um, yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this one out and see how we get on. So without any further ado, let's get the rods, the bait in the water and I'll catch up with you soon. Well guys, I'm just checking in at the minute really, um, been here for about an hour now, there's plenty of guys down here fishing, so they, they obviously know something, <laughs> it is a good mark this for smooth hands, if you ever get the chance to, to fish it, pick the tides right as well and you could be in with a good shout. Um, like I say, I've had a few casts now, I've got the peeler out there, I'm just, I'm just using one rod tonight, that's all I'm going to go for, I'll just show you the setup actually, so I've gone to me, Daiwa Saltis there, just got that um, loaded, that's 40 pound line on there, coming up the Ziplex LT14 Dynamic um, Evos, the MTI tripod, but yeah, let's see what happens, I mean, it's perfect for it really conditions, it's got a nice little chop on the sea out there, like I say, high tide's not till 10 o'clock, so it's only, it's only sort of 7.30 now, so we've, we've got a bit of time, but I'm hoping the action's going to switch on pretty soon. I think once that sun goes down as well, I reckon we should be in. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd check in. Like I say, lovely evening out here and perfect condition. So let's see, let's see what happens. Do you know, guys, I've just a lovely slack line, but I'm just going to show you. It's a lovely smoothie. Oh, oh. That's a lovely hound there, look. I haven't weird him. I reckon he's definitely a double figure though. I'm really pleased with that. Lovely smooth hound. Only my second or third cast lot, but he's come in. Beautiful. Well chuffed with that guys. I'm gonna put him back in the water. I'll catch you in a bit. <laughs> just checking in uh, sun's going down now um, coming up to 9 30 th I think like I said high tides about 10 10 30 something like that so I'm gonna give it another hour or so and see how we get on um, I've only seen one more smooth hound come out guy next to me here lovely smooth hound I helped him get it in I should have put it on the camera but I, 
I did, I, it, it, he was struggling to get it in, so I, I managed to help him get that one in. But I haven't seen anybody else catching any more. I thought there'd be a bit more activity down here, to be honest with you. Um, but like I say, we're, we're baiting up with the peelers, we're using the peeler crab. Um, and let's see what happens. I mean, now that it's gone dark, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get a bit more life into it. Anyway. If we do, I will check in with you and let you know. All right, speak to you. All right, guys. Well, coming up quarter past ten now, well over high water. Um, I had nothing else since that, that one fish. I thought it would be electric here tonight. I really did. Um, getting a lot of weed coming in now, a lot of weed. So I've probably got enough peeler to get another couple of casts out. So I'm going to give it a little bit longer. Uh, and yes, yeah, see what happens, but I haven't seen anybody else pull any fish out as well. Um, yeah, it's it's very strange. I'm going to close this one out, guys. Um, yeah, fished it right up to high tide. We just had, had the one hound. Um, I'm glad I got out, though. Good day. A uh, lot of weight coming in now, so I've decided to jack it in. I've, I've, I've virtually run out of pail of crab anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm glad I come down. Glad I've had a bit of a session, even if it's just for a few hours. All it, it all helps. Um, but yeah, thanks again, everybody. Thanks everyone for subscribing and 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 uh, all the comments. Keep them coming, please. Um, and I'll try my best to answer them. So, with that, guys, um, I'm going to check out. I'm going to um, I'm going to shut this one down, and I will see you on the next fish and chippy's fishing adventures. Thanks for watching. All the best.